How does this even... Okay, now I've got it. So, I've been meaning to talk about our garden for a long time. Gardening uh, at Ush and gardening with children is something that I highly value. I think that the more awareness what we have with our younger generation about sustainability and growing our own produce is vital. This is a bit of a story about our journey with, our recent journey with the Epping Heights Public School Garden, of which Bush are the current custodians. We put a lot of work into our gardens. So last year, we completely transformed the gardens in August um, by putting some edging around. We had a, a staff get together where we all turned up early on a Saturday morning and worked on the garden that was really it was a really wonderful experience. Um, it was a good team building experience. We had some newbies on at the time and um, we had such a great time doing it. And I think we did a really awesome job. Then we got word that the school was putting some sheds in. So the whole thing was going to have to be rejigged. So it got to a point where it looked like this. And then it was fenced off for a long time and it ended up looking a little bit crazy. I'm going to take you on a bit of a journey through our experience with the garden and um, hopefully we will be incorporating gardening further into our program as the year progresses. Uh, children get a real kick out of seeing things grow, um, being a part of that and then enjoying the produce at the end. Um, we've had a lot of interesting activities to do with the garden that have occurred. Children have planted things, um, children have grown things from seeds. We do seed harvesting, so we allow some plants to go to seed and then we harvest the seeds and then plant them again the following year. Uh, we also dry um, herbs and um, give them to um, our families or sell them as part of our fundraising for our sponsor child. It's just a really wonderful experience getting in the gardens with the kids. Very excited to see the next phases of how um, our garden is going to bless us with beautiful produce in the future. Uh, keep an eye out and talk to your kids about the garden and talk to the children about gardening. And on your way out, feel free to stop past, pick a strawberry. They are delicious. Enjoy the video. So I'm down at the school garden on a beautiful Saturday morning and we are going to be doing a working bee down here with some families and some kids to organise the garden. It has gotten a little bit crazy and we want to prepare it for winter planting. So I'll show you a little bit about what it, um, it looks like and then we're going to get stuck in. So we have strawberries that are going amazingly at the moment. They're even spilling out around the sides. Apologies for the sounds of the M2 in the background. Look at the strawberries. They're so great, so yummy. Nice and sweet. But then we have this disastrous mess. We haven't been able to come down here because the garden got rearranged to put in the new sheds. So that's why everything's a bit unkempt because normally we'd be down here. Um, but that's that. So that's what's happening today. Really looking forward to it. What are you doing here, Emily? Pulling out leaves. Do you have any words of wisdom, Zoe? <laughs> Don't let it grow this long before you work in the garden. <laughs> What's happening over here, Corinne? We're cutting, we're cutting the spikes off these. <laughs> we're cutting all of the excess plants. We're doing some of the tricky work. We're going to try and cut all of these. We are doing sloppy work, aren't we? Emily likes to say that we're behind the scenes. <laughs> well, everyone needs people behind the scenes. A lot of my life is behind the scenes too, Emily. Man sows the seed. Nature 
grows the seed and then we eat the seed. Chauncey Gardner, being there. So what have you guys been talking about? <laughs> today? We went through and picked all the strawberries for the kids and we went through the compost, taught the kids about the compost and how that works um, and we get to keep some fun with all the stones, putting all the stones down and all the strawberries and cutting up all the different fruits and learning about what's inside different plants. Um, that's about it. <laughs> awesome, thanks. Are you guys ready? Chris, what was your favorite part of today? Not the end. Pasa. 